So in today's video, guys, it is a battle of the consoles with the 2DS in the left corner facing off against the new 2DS XL in the right corner. One's cheaper, one's double the price, and they're both awesome. But I guarantee you guys, there's actually one clear winner here. What is up, my friends? It's Ray back here with an updated 2018 comparison between the original 2DS over here and the new 2DS XL. Now, you guys know I just recently made a video on five reasons why I think this 3DS line should continue to live on, right? Well, I actually had a bunch of crispy 4K footage left over from that video that I actually wanted to put to good use today. So, if there's anything that you guys want to see me cover with the 2DS or the new 2DS XL or anything in the 3DS line, let me know in the comments box down below and I can definitely make it happen all right so without further ado let's get right into this comparison now shall we so you guys may know i actually mentioned this a few times in my videos in the past i've actually been using the new 2ds xl a whole lot more recently after using the original 2ds for so long and being like kind of biased towards it for like that amazing game boy like form factor i really wanted to give the new 2ds xl a fair chance because it's just a fantastic console and i didn't really like want to just have it sitting around so i wanted to give it a fair chance and i'm really glad that i did i'm gonna tell you guys why in just a second so the first difference you're going to notice between these two is the design the 2ds is more like a game boy whereas the new 2ds xl has the original clamshell design that was introduced back on the original ds not to mention the new 2ds xl does introduce new controls such as the c-stick the extra shoulder buttons and the built-in nfc amiibo support obviously when you're deciding between these two consoles this is clearly going to be a deciding factor because it's obviously going to affect how you play games and i can personally attest to that i've actually gotten better playing on the new 2ds xl for games like super smash bros and stuff like that that added c stick really does make a world of difference and you guys do know though that i love the comfort and the form factor of the original 2ds and that's never gonna change it's just that the new 2ds xl really did add a whole new different element to actually playing games Another major difference between the two is speed. The original 2DS was released in 2013, whereas the new 2DS XL was launched last year in 2017. So that alone should be an indication that the new 2DS XL has much better internals than the 2DS does. So obviously this is the case with iPhones, smartphones, anything in general, laptops, computers, everything gets faster as time moves on. And that's the difference here between these two handhelds. Unfortunately, this is where the 2DS really does begin to show its age because things like the eShop really take forever to load on the original 2DS. It's unfortunate, but, you know, games play normally, but they do take longer to launch and stuff like that. And um, especially when there's things like the iPhone 10 on the market, which just like snaps between apps instantly, you know, the uh, new 2DS XL really does begin to blur those lines between smartphones and handhelds. Luckily, it's a lot quicker than the original 2DS because unfortunately, the original 2DS is kind of slow for 2018 handheld. And finally, another major difference between the two is price. The original 2DS retails for only $79, whereas the new 2DS XL goes for $150. So that makes it nearly twice the price of the 2DS, and it doesn't come with a free game like the 2DS does. So which one you get really does depend on the three things that I mentioned here in this video. And you guys should ask yourselves these three questions before you actually buy one of these handhelds in 2018. Which design do I really like more? Do I really need the extra speed and features of the new 2DS XL? And how much do I really want to spend on a handheld console? You know, the original 2DS goes for $79. So you can actually get a whole bunch of games along with the console for the price of a new 2DS XL. It's pretty insane. But regardless, of how fast or how slow a console is both of these handhelds are fantastic and you definitely can't go wrong with either one of them especially when you consider how cheap that original 2ds is i mean it's only 20 bucks more than an original you know brand new switch game is it's pretty crazy so it's great handheld it's great for what it is however if i did have to choose just one this year in 2018 right now i feel like i would actually go with the new 2ds xl it's just a lot faster loading games and apps the body feels a lot lighter holding it and just the bigger screens make a world of difference i love having like bigger screens especially like on the switch on my phone whatever it may be it's really really great so it just feels like a much more modern 2018 handheld obviously it's not at the level of the switch but it's not meant to be at the level of the switch it's meant to be a portable console and if i had to choose just one 
I'd probably have to go with the new 2DS XL. Alrighty, guys, that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, you know the drill. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to leave a comment down in the comments box down below. Let me know which handheld is your favorite. Do you like using the 2DS? Do you like using the new 2DS XL? Do you like using anything in the 3DS lineup or have you just converted to the Switch? I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments box down below. Alrighty, guys, that's about it. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button for new videos coming your way every Thursday, Sunday, sometimes more. You know it's going down over here on the channel. So many fun things coming your way guys so until next time i will catch you guys later peace